All right, guys, we're here with Paul Fix, the driver of the number four, StopFlex.com, the car, the CarCoach.com Corvette in the Trans Am series. Welcome to Inside Trans Am. How are you today? Thanks. Uh, doing very well for a Sunday. <laughs> recover. Have to recover from your weekend, right? There you go. Yep. <laughs> okay. uh, first off, congratulations on your win at Lime Rock. Thank you very much. That was, uh, that was a really good race for us. Three years in a row. Uh, great venue, perfect weather, you know, couldn't ask for anything more. I want to talk about that. Let's you mention it right now. Three years in a row at Lime Rock. Why is Lime Rock so good to you or why are you so good at Lime Rock? That, that's, uh, it's funny because it's not really my home track, uh, but it's a track that I've raced at since 1989, at least once a year. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I love the uphill. I love the downhill. Um, it's just a, it's a great short track that uh, I seem to excel at better than anybody else. <laughs> um, you, you started off the season with two thirds in a second, and then you, you got your win now at Lime Rock. Um, you, you, you finally, somebody finally got to knock off Amy Ruman off right. the top step. Um, is this something, was this something like a progression for you, or did you just knew that you were going to win a race this year? Well, we, you know, our, um, we're going for the championship. That's, mm -hmm. that's the end, the end game here. So whatever we have to do to, uh, to rack up those, uh, points as every race goes on, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got a new tire now, uh, that Hoosier, uh, gave us. And, uh, so we're figuring out how that, uh, works with our setup. And uh, so, we've, you know, we've got some stuff to work on there. Uh, we've been progressively getting stronger. I was on pole at Atlanta and um, finished second there. Unfortunately, I screwed up and uh, let Amy buy me. So uh, that was difficult once we hit traffic. So, but the end result is uh, the championship is, is what we're shooting for. And uh, so we just got to uh, keep refining the car and um you know we're, you know we still got three quarters of the season to go so we got a ways to go you, you you mentioned the traffic and trans am has really grown the last couple of years uh it's incredible the, your grids are so huge and now a lot of the races are split where t2 is running their own race and you're running with t3 and there is a huge speed differential between you and t t3 are the t3 guys behaving themselves and getting out of your guys' way? Or I saw Lime Rocky had a little bit of a problem with one of the T3 guys. Um, aside from that, are they mostly getting out of your way? Yeah, for the most part, they're really conscious of what's happening because the closing rate is so huge um, mm -hmm. that uh, they're very aware of what's going on. Obviously, we want them to be predictable. We want them to run their own race and let us go by them uh, in an untraditional manner. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, if they're predictable and running a consistent line that we know that we can count on them from being in a certain spot at any one given time around the track, which is the line, mm -hmm. and then uh, we can pick and choose how to go by them. Um, Lime Rock was actually a TA car that uh, caused my issues, uh, running me off into the grass down into turn one. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, this car in particular was running last uh, in the TA classification oh, okay. and came down the downhill and kind of went all the way to the right as if they were going into the pits. So of course the C parted if you will and I chose to go straight down the middle. Well <clears throat> this person wasn't going into the pits they were slowly progressing over to the left and ran me, ran me off. <laughs> so that was a TA car uh, but the TA3 cars have really been uh, you know, they know what's going on. They know they're going to be passed. So they're very conscious of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it hasn't been really uh, too big of a deal for me. Mm -hmm. Do you eventually see a point where the TA and the T2s are so popular that the T3s are either race their own race separate now or just dropped altogether? No, I, I think, uh, think long-term what they want is three separate races mm -hmm. uh, as TA uh, – rejuvenates and comes back to its, you know, uh, glory days of, of Trans Am history. 
um, where we would have you know 40 cars just in the TA field. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where the growth is going to be uh, three separate uh, races, which would be fantastic. Uh, I, well, T2 has really exploded. What, what do you think would take to get the TA to get as popular as a T2? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> you, uh, let's play a game. You're the boss. <laughs> cost control is, is obviously an issue. You know, the, mm -hmm. the entry point for a TA2 car is uh, a third of a TA car mm -hmm. uh, or TA2 car. So, um, <clears throat> and then they have a basically a, an engine that's a, a crate motor, you know, for mm -hmm. uh, to use that term. Uh, where you know our motors are fifty thousand dollars, our transmissions are fifteen thousand dollars, mm -hmm. and you know a, a turnkey TA car could be three hundred brand new, or you know a hundred thousand dollars, you know maybe buying something a couple years old. So mm -hmm. um, cost is a major uh, factor in the TA uh, TA group. Mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, next week, New Jersey, across the border for you. Um, you like that track? You like the facility? You're you're happy you're going to Jersey? You know, uh, I have never been there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have never raced at New Jersey. Uh, I've been there um, a few years ago, but have never been on the track. Uh, doing a lot of uh, prep work. And uh, so we'll have to see. Uh, in years past, though, I've been a great uh, adapter to new tracks. Uh, for instance, Homestead, I, I'd never raced at Homestead before. And um, uh, a couple of years ago, I raced at Coda. I had never been to Coda before. I won the national championship there a couple of years ago uh, in a um, Rocket Sports Trans Am Roush uh, Jaguar. So uh, that was a that was a great result there. So New Jersey shouldn't be, uh, you know, there will be that learning curve, but luckily we have a test day. Do you have any clue what to expect out there? As some of your fellow Trans Am guys giving you, like, some idea what to expect, people have driven there before, or are you going out there totally blind? I, I'm on my own. There's no, <laughs> there, there's no help there. <laughs> All I can do is watch – Watch videos and uh, you know be on my simulator and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but nothing like being on the track to get all those visual clues as to pavement change, uh, curbing, uh, you know the peripheral cues and so forth that uh, you need mm -hmm. to feel comfortable on the track, and uh, so hopefully that that's what I uh, intend to accomplish on the test day. Well, you've been running up front the whole year so far, so there's no reason to expect you won't be up there again. Um, I want to thank you. Uh, you. Of course, you mentioned StopFlex.com, one of your sponsors, and the car coach. You also work with, was it Wellworth? Yeah, What's well, that? What's well, that? Wellworth is a, uh, is a northeast company that, that uh, manufactures car care products for dealerships. So <clears throat> this would be all sorts of cleaners and uh, uh, products that uh, dealerships would use in preparation for the car for sale. Uh -huh. uh, so they've come on, on board uh, this year. We, it, they make some great products. We use them on the team as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Royal Purple uh, has been with me since uh, 2001 mm -hmm. when I raced Trans Am way back when. And uh, so they're back on board with me is we've got a great long-term relationship with them. And then obviously StopFlex, which is my primary sponsor, uh, manufacturing DOT stainless hoses for, uh, for the aftermarket. So you got a Mustang, a Camaro, a Corvette streetcar, and you want uh, great brakes. Uh, the StopFlex brand of brake hoses is a fantastic uh, product. Well, come on, guys. you got to support the series. If you love the series, support the series, support the sponsors. You know, that's the way it works. <laughs> uh, Paul, I want to thank you again. Uh, good luck again. Good luck in New Jersey. Um, I've been to that track. Uh, it's in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> like most tracks are, but this is really in the middle of nowhere. But yep. it's a nice facility, though. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a great uh, weekend, hopefully. Let's pray for good weather, although it's not looking so hot right now. So uh, hot and rainy. Well, get to break out those rain tires. 
Yeah, it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be an issue. I, I love the rain. <laughs> All right, we've been talking with Paul Fix, the driver to number four, StopFlex.com, Corvette, number two in the championship, closing on Amy. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you.